Hey, this one is for all you IBM clients and business partners out there running your mission critical applications on the Z mainframe, but feeling the need to modernize and gain some greater agility. Let's talk about IBM Watson X Code Assistant for Z, which leverages generative AI to accelerate the application modernization lifecycle in three discrete phases. First, through application discovery, we can help you to understand your application's code, data, and their dependencies. Second, our auto refactoring capability decomposes your complex application into modular COBOL business services. And finally, we leverage IBM's generative AI to selectively translate your refactored COBOL business services into Java. Let's dive into Watson X Code Assistant for Z and see how it works. Our example will be a sample insurance application written in COBOL, and our goal will be to refactor the relevant code for a new customer onboarding process into a standalone business service and then transform it into Java. So our first phase is application discovery, and we will take this opportunity to help understand the application's code, data, their relationships, and their dependencies. To perform this task, we will use ADDI, Application Discovery and Delivery Intelligence. As a component of Watson X Code Assistant for Z, ADDI allows an architect to discover the landscape of business applications, as well as understand the relationships between application components, such as program to database, program to program, etc. The ADDI client, which is Eclipse-based, is used to visualize and graph the metadata in the ADDI database. These are projects loaded into ADDI currently. For our insurance application use case, we want to look at the project here called GenApp. Here on the right, we see a list of reports, graphs, and other objects associated with the GenApp project. These are pulling information directly from the ADDI database. Let's take a look at the program call graph. We can see ADDI is pulling the metadata collected about this program and here, it will render a graphical representation of the program, databases, and the relationships. On the left, we can see the list of COBOL programs that are part of our GenApp application. These are represented in the graph, and we can use ADDI to investigate further. From here, specific slices of COBOL code selected for modernization are moved on to step two for refactoring. On to the second phase. Auto refactoring decomposes your application into modular COBOL business services. Watson X Code Assistant for Z Refactoring Assistant, and you may have worked with it previously as Service Designer, extracts metadata about an application that is a candidate for modernization. It allows a developer to extract or take slices out of a large COBOL application that will be used by Watson X Code Assistant for Z for refactoring into Java code. The refactoring assistant component of Watson X Code Assistant for Z is accessed via a web browser. The refactoring assistant helps you visualize the links between COBOL programs and, in this example, the data tables related to onboarding a new customer. For example, we can look at the customer secure table and the customer table. When you click on a table, the links are highlighted, revealing that both tables link through a single module. It's a great place to identify the relevant code from the original application that you'll need to refactor and extract. In the workbook view, we can see the list of COBOL paragraphs, including onboard customer. The tool then helps you locate the remaining code needed to create a standalone COBOL business service by scanning the project code to identify and extract any code that is needed for the onboard customer library. We can expand the code blocks here and see the additional code that the tool has found. Then, when we export the code as a standalone COBOL business service, Watson X Code Assistant for Z brings together all of the code and the associated COBOL data structures. We now have a modular COBOL service, one that is aligned with the scope of our modernization efforts and ready for phase three. This is where our careful preparation pays off. In the third phase, generative AI selectively translates our new COBOL business service into Java. 
Now other COBOL to Java conversion tools certainly exist, but they generally take a line-by-line -line conversion approach. The result is Java code, but with a COBOL syntax, oftentimes referred to as Jobol, which tends to be confusing for Java developers unfamiliar with COBOL, and it makes the resulting code difficult to understand and maintain. To begin this process, a Java developer, who likely is not a seasoned COBOL developer, uses the Visual Studio Code plugin for Watson X Code Assistant for Z to establish the class hierarchy with associated naming, the structure of the classes, and the variables for the new Java service. The developer can, of course, make any modifications here to suit their needs. And now we have a basis to translate the COBOL business service into an object-oriented Java architecture, an architecture that is familiar to Java developers and therefore should be easy for them to maintain. So, with the class hierarchy established, we can drill into the classes to see their object-oriented structures. For example, the policy class establishes the variables for a standard insurance policy. And then, the motor class extends policy as per a hierarchical inheritance model, meaning it includes all the attributes of a general policy plus the additional attributes that make a motor policy unique. Now, let's focus back on the new customer onboarding process and finish our code transformation. When you go into the customer onboarding request class, you'll notice that Java methods have been created, but they haven't yet been implemented. We can click to generate the method, and the Watson X Code Assistant for Z service will call the large language model and send the corresponding COBOL code as a prompt. The recommended Java code will then appear in the preview pane, along with important contextual details, like the code's corresponding method, class, the original COBOL program, and the original source paragraph. The developer can now insert the code directly into the method and easily modify or enhance it if needed. The entire AI-assisted translation process is designed to make life easy for Java developers by leveraging tools and processes that they're familiar with. Productivity is boosted with the use of generative AI, and Java developers are not forced to become COBOL experts. So come check it out. Chat with an IBM representative about how Watson X AI can boost your enterprise's modernization efforts, and get started with a trial of our cutting-edge technology today.